guys, Chichi here. Welcome back to my channel, Chichi Lux. Today we're gonna be doing a tag. This is the handbag deal breakers tag. I was tagged by Lisa Loves Bags. Hey, girl. So yeah, I have quite a few deal breakers. So <laughs> pull up a chair. So the first deal breaker should be no surprise and that is super mini bags. Like they just don't have a place in my collection. If I can't fit my wallet, my keys, and my phone, it has no place in my collection. The only thing I can fill in those super mini bags are my regrets. And I don't need that type of energy in my life. I know a lot of you can stunt and flex and that's great. Me, I'm not that one because I need those essentials on me at all times. The killer might be outside and I don't mean Rona. I need to be able to pay somebody. People do a little something strange for a little bit of change, okay? So if I can't have those essentials on me, no ma'am, I, mm -mm. another deal breaker that should not be any surprise is a hot pink or baby pink bag. I am not that girl. No, like I can do a good little fuchsia, maybe SLG. That's the only way I can stomach a pink. Don't mind the pink that's on my eyes today right now. If it is a actual handbag, I, no ma'am, I can't. It's just pink is, I'm not that girl. Like I feel very girly with a pink bag and I'm just, no, team blue all day neutrals all day but pink hot pink barbie pink bubblegum pink if the bag is heavy af i don't want it mm -mm, mm -mm. i may be fat and curvy but i am not a linebacker okay i am not putting all of that weight on my shoulders if the bag is already heavy before i even put things in it don't nobody want to be carrying around no sack of bricks. <laughs> no, I don't care if I have to do it. Top handle, cross body, backpack it up. It does not matter what form of the handbag it is. Mm -mm. I got to preserve my entire body, okay? Carrying around a heavy bag actually makes the bag less enjoyable. If I can't maneuver throughout the, my life, mm -mm. no, if I got to be like, oh, <sighs> nope it's a deal breaker which leads me to my next point a top handle only bag nope mm -mm. i'm not lugging things around if it's luggage it's going to be on wheels okay so for me to have a handbag that i'm just lugging around top handle only oh no girl now of course there are exceptions to the rule because girl don't you have a speedy yes i do mind your business but of course, if somebody knocked on my door with a Birkin, I'm going to take it. Absolutely. It's not something where I'm like, yo, that top handle though, it's just not my thing. I don't like the hook it and crook it, especially once we go back into the world because I'm not going to the mall yet. I don't like shopping with a top handle bag. It's just way too much. It's too heavy. Uh, no. Nah top handles goodbye this next deal breaker mm -mm. wow so if the bag is hard to access or is just completely open deal breaker i don't have time to be fumbling around trying to open up a bag nor do i just like it all open spread eagle perfect example the some more it's a beautiful bag but it's just a pain in the ass to get into because it's double-sided so of course naturally you're gonna put your wallet closest to your body right so now when you're at the register you gotta prop that thing open and dig it nope i ain't got the time for it i just want a quick flop i gotta unbutton pull up unbutton pull up that's the type of girl i am but if you're trying to oh let me oh i gotta unbuckle I gotta do all that? No. And then with the Neverfull, she's all just loosey goosey. So God forbid if I short stop in my car, all of my crap is on the floor now. So those two extremes, I cannot. I can't deal with a 
bag that I have to completely fiddle with and I can't deal with a bag that is open to the world because that leaves myself vulnerable to pit pocketers and they will catch these hands. The final deal breaker. And I don't know, this might be the most important deal breaker for me. And that is a museum piece, AKA bags I have to baby. Nope, mm -mm. 100% deal breaker. If I gotta worry about, oh, the shadow staining, oh, I gotta, nope, you ain't got no, no place in my collection. Well, first of all, I don't understand people who just buy things to just look at it, like collectors. I'm the type of chick who wants to enjoy those pieces. So if I have to constantly worry about, oh, I can't take this out because it's gonna fade off or oh, I got it. Mm -mm. It's a deal breaker. Sometimes it's those limited edition pieces. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to, no, I want to enjoy my items. Like that's the whole point of having a collection is to enjoy it. Now, if you just enjoy looking at it, cool. You might live a very boring life. But for me, I like to have it in action. Let's go see the world, okay? I want to enjoy my pieces. And if I have to sit there and worry about vachetta staining and color transfer and you know, an exotic skin that might get sunburned. I don't know. I don't want that bag. It's just a complete deal breaker. If I gotta worry that much about it, no ma'am, mm-mm. Please exit stage right. Be gone, your pals are useless here. But those are my main deal breakers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.